if you kind of want to see how this stuff goes on, I'll show you the actual strokes here. See, they're putting some on there, and he's putting some on there. So anyway, I just kind of sway my brush around in there because the epoxy settles to the bottom. So wipe a little bit off because it's very, like I said, wah huttery. And I take my brush over here, and I just slather it on there like barbecue ribs and putting barbecue sauce on it. If you're from Texas, you'll understand all about that, and then it'll be a natural for you. Just put this on, let's say, like it's baby back ribs or maybe a brisket. Put that barbecue sauce on there. So basically, that's it. And you can see it already put like a little gray streaks on there, and a little gray streaks on there. And after it dries a little bit, and then you put another coat, it seems like the gray really sticks, and then you get a, your second coat really sticks good and uh, it looks more like that you see how that looks almost all gray versus that which you can see the wood grain and the color of the wood through it so the second coat will look a lot heavier and thicker like that so we will be back with more epoxy and the cross beams bye for now all right everybody putting the last touches on the epoxy for the day they put a second coat on an area back there at the back that was looking kind of thin and that's the last kind of the dregs of the bottle but these are all of our other ones cross removable cross beams that we uh and uh have to uh epoxy so they're sitting out here and it's 4 30 so hopefully all this is going to dry enough that we can put them inside of a hole for when it comes nighttime because it's still threatening rain but I don't see it com coming, it's very calm, which may be the calm before the storm, I don't know. This is still a little tacky, a little tacky, and like I said, it's got that bubbly, foamy thing going on, so we may have uh, mixed it too thick. And uh, we we'll have to wait. It looks like it'll be easy to sand, though, so regardless, we're going to sand it. And this foamy stuff is uh, kind of a thin bubbles, kind of like crispy, rice krispies, I guess you would call it. And uh, I think we can just sand that off and that'll flatten out, hopefully. And then I don't know if we need to re, to add another layer to it, or how we're going to do that after we sand it all. But there may be some hand sanding involved to get down in the crevices and stuff to get it kind of smooth. Or maybe not. We'll see. That's just the unknown we're going to have to uh, figure out or deal with or find out about pretty soon. I'm going to get a putty knife and kind of scrape some of these runs out of here where I did put the straw injection of the uh, extra epoxy in those holes so I'm going to clean that up a little bit and we got some runs down the back of the boat here then I'm going to take my putty knife and scrape those off real quick so we don't have to sand them off maybe do a little bit here too where we got some runs so anyway we are just going to town with epoxy and we'll be back with more of my paradise on Battalion Island man that's a lot of cross beams hey but, everybody you know, well, we're back after epoxying, and remember those bubbles? Well, they're a complete mess. Don't mix your epoxy very thick with the lacquer thinner because it foams up and makes bubbles. Everywhere. See, like that? And you gotta sand all that crap down. And that is worse because that's epoxy. That ain't just, you know, something soft. And this whole hull, this whole hull was done with a thick mixture, and this whole thing's got to be sanded. And I'm using that with a 60 grit, and uh, it's a lot of work. So lesson, lesson learned is uh, very thin epoxy and lacquer thinner mix. So not too much epoxy, a lot of lacquer thinner. Keep it thin, keep it light, and then just put multiple coats on and then you're good to go but if you fix it too thick for some reason it'll start to foaming up and then you've got this foam texture that you have to uh, uh, sand sand out now 
I'm being told by the boat builder guy we don't have to hit this too hard but uh, and the paint will hopefully you know go into those holes because there are holes and pockets like cups basically of that a whole paint so if we put the paint on thick or multiple coats it should cover that the second upside or the other the upside of this could be that you know because normally this would be like a slick painted floor and if it's got a little texture it's more of a non-slip surface or non-skid surface so that may benefit us too uh but we'll see that that may bite us that may benefit us i don't i don't know i tried to use the grinder on this stuff but that grinder will just it'll cut right through this this marine quarter inch plywood so don't put grinders on marine plywood ever i mean on a two by four you could but it's going to cut through the epoxy so fast and you'll be back down to wood so what good did you do to put epoxy on there if you grind it all off and you're back down to wood because that thing there and that's a 120 grit sanding disc and uh it uh it it really cuts don't use a 40 or a 60 or a 80 because that will uh that'll really uh that'll grab and it'll just slam your grinder into the, the wall and then you got a you, you you got a real mess on your hands so anyway he's going to go over there and try to use that but he's going to be in for a real surprise when that thing grabs it unless he's really uh careful if you go real slow just slow methodical type of grinding you're okay but if you're just kind of trying to hit the area like that and kind of get it done you're gonna it's gonna grab and it's gonna smack into something so it's really uh dangerous so we will be back with more sanding for, <laughs> for a long time uh, bye for now hey everybody hopefully you can hear me i got my ninja Ninja mask on here. You can see it. Ninja. <laughs> Ninja mask. So anyway, we are pretty much, not fully, but pretty much done with the sanding on this one. You can see we took a lot of that stuff. There's still ridges in there like a, like paintbrush ridges. And that's okay. Uh, when we paint supposedly it'll fill in between those and lay flat that's my wish and we got that back there ground down pretty good with the with the angle grinder and that we can hit those two by fours with the angle grinder but you can't uh hit this thin plywood it'll just blow right through them so anyway that's the that's what a sanded hole looks like you see it's kind of all white and powdery from all the sand we got a shop back that will blow blow this out with again and get some of that out and then the next coat we put on here will be the uh, white paint mixed with epoxy so then it'll all turn white and we'll also get a bit of a clue as to what uh, how well it feels in these little paintbrush lines and stuff because epoxy is uh, you know it doesn't lay flat it doesn't lay out like paint does when you spray it when you paint it on with a brush it, it kind of uh, because it's thick it, it just holds this line so anyway we will uh, go over there or to where I'm sanding now and I gotta finish this one this was the worst one here with the with the this was probably one of the better well this is the best one here I think we used the really thin stuff on this this one so it should come out really good this was one where we had a little bit of the thick on here and this one everything was thick and so it's a real mess so anyway we are uh, sanding and vacuuming getting all the dust out and uh, we will be back there's more I got to get a new, new piece of sand paper on mine because it's just about worn out I'm, I'm using a uh, 60 grit on this uh, stuff here because it's uh, uh, going through that foam so we'll be back with more from my paradise on Battalion Island sanding up a dust storm bye for now All right, everybody. what we're doing today is kind of a continuation of what we did yesterday <laughs> sanding and we've got this hole here where we put 
a little bit too thick of epoxy on and it foamed up and made some areas a lot more trouble to sand. And we've got this hole here where we actually did this one first and it was almost right until we started to add, actually we did this one first, then we mixed some new epoxy and uh, lacquer thin, but we made a really thick one over there and that was a mess that one foamed up and, and it got hard and it's just a foamy hard mess and you got to sand all that foam down and then since we learned our lesson there we did this one with thin and this one came out really nice so I mean hardly any sanding at all I mean you can feel just a little bit of texture there but if you just slide the sander down here just one pass it's smooth so yeah so this is definitely the way to go is with watery epoxy and even on the bottom as you see you see how it looks real gray and you're not seeing the wood well that's two coats of the thin and that is perfect that really did a good job on that part so lesson learned mix your epoxy thin and if you need to make a second coat go ahead and do a second coat uh, after it gets pretty dry an hour-ish around in that amount of time and if you don't see what happens when it builds up that foamy crap and it's all rough and then you gotta try to sand that because that's just like sandpaper uh, texture there it, it just foams up and makes a mess so anyway uh, this hole looks good so I'm sanding this one right now see right here Did you see where it dripped and, and and got thick when it drips and gets thick it gets that foamy See all that? Like hot lava texture? Yeah, and you gotta sand all that crap off and, and not not and because it's thick, you gotta sand through all that thickness. And all the way down is that foamy texture. So you want a smooth surface on the wood, so if you touch things they they don't scratch your hand or snag your bathing suit and you know, tear your bathing suit and stuff like that. So I mean I I gotta do a lot of work. Uh, on that hole there and we did a lot of work already yesterday so we're almost done there but I'm got my handy dandy sander I'm using 60 grit which is a heavy grit there's a nail see that hole right there well when we nailed the extra plywood onto the bar there we go okay I just got the angle grind yeah there's one nail in here so anyway I'm gonna chop that nail and then I'll be back so yeah that's uh so he's one of the boat builders so we'll be back with more from my paradise on Matani Island I gotta cut a nail it's right there you, you can see it sticking up right there it's coming through the hall that made ready to mix some paint with the epoxy with the lacquer thinner over here and do that and then after that we're going to paint the inside of this guy or epoxy slash paint just to give it a coating it'll be white when that's all done so we're going to do that and then I get the vacuum cleaner out of the way and those extension cords out of the way and he's got to mix that up and we'll be back with more once we start painting. Yeehaw, bye for now. We are mixing up the witch's brew here. Of, uh, I don't know if he's already put the white paint in there yet. Yeah, hon, did he put the white paint in yet? What? Did he put the white paint in yet? Oh, okay. 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 So we're mixing this up. That's just the epoxy and the thin thinner. So you see basically how thin this is. Very water-like. Uh, and you got to mix it up really good. Because it'll the epoxy, you know, is heavy. And it'll settle out of the uh, lacquer th thinner. And just all, you know, basically like sand if you mix, mix sand in or mud I guess in water to come back in five minutes and it'll settle to the bottom so you gotta constantly uh, be using your brush uh, to kind of stir around it and mix it up and then paint it and then stir around it mix it up and paint it so now we're gonna put some of the paint in 
and to mix up the paint too because it sets and the heavy stuff goes down to the bottom and of course it's going to make a little bit of a mess everywhere this is a quick dry enamel they do have a see how we use the pioneer brand uh, epoxy pioneer brand right there pioneer that's part a and b or a and b one of those two but you gotta have two cans uh, mix it equally but they do have a Pioneer Marine quick dry enamel now. So I didn't, I, that's on Battalion Island. But right now we just got the Pioneer, I mean, just the uh, Island brand uh, quick dry enamel. And that's what we're using uh, to paint the boats with now. <clears throat> so when we get to Battalion Island, we'll paint stuff on the sides, you know, like the name of the boat and some kind of design thing going down the the sides and stuff you, you know something fancy i told you before tribal flames like thing and then maybe if i can get somebody talented enough paint some of the like a yellow fin and a dorado and maybe a wahoo or something on the side there make it look fishy <laughs> so now we're gonna uh this is gonna be fun here is he going to pour this in? I'm going to help him because I'm going to have to get a paintbrush and... Well, not really. He didn't make a mess. I guess he's done this before. Yeah, see, he knows. Paint, paint up the side there because it's dripping all down. Yeah. There he goes. He knows what he's doing. This ain't his first boat to build. He's been building boats his whole life. <laughs> Just so you know. So he's probably got 40, 50, or 100 under his belt. So anyway, we will let that uh get all mixed up and then i gotta jump into action here grab a brush and start paint, painting so we will be back with more painting the inside the epoxy uh normally we do two coats three three coats two two coats my plan was to do two coats of epoxy and then one coat of epoxy with enamel paint but we did one coat of epoxy well, I'll take that back. We actually did two, uh, one right after the other, like 30 minute drying time, and then we slapped on a second coat. So maybe that's the two coats that he was talking about. And now the third is the paint epoxy. So I'm going to jump on this and we'll be back with more from my paradise painting paradise from my paradise on Italian Island. Bye right, for now. Everybody. Painting is in action here. We're painting this. See how it's looking white now? And this is epoxy paint mix here. So that's another epoxy coating, but we're just adding some white paint to it to give it some color. Uh, for whatever reason, I don't know, but he's putting it on pretty thick up there. So that's yeah. good, good to see. So anyway, we painted this part, painted ourselves into a corner before, before we painted under there which you have to get in the boat to paint under there <laughs> and my wife's the one that's small enough to get down there so now she's got the job of painting back in that hole and not standing on here but standing on the only piece that's not paint, painted so that's a challenge next time we'll do it right I promise so we'll be back with more for my paradise on Italian Island <laughs> she's getting painted hey everybody that my friends is what a white Oh, it looks like. Of course, you can't really tell because it's in the shadows, but it looks gray, grayish, but it's white. See really white seal there? See, that part's white. Reflecting white. So, this is not the paint job. This is just an, uh, the last coat of epoxy on the inside. Again, we mix white paint with it and uh, just kind of put it on everywhere on the inside. And we've got partway, we had enough e epoxy paint left over from that hole to do the front part of this. We're trying to get all the way to the front there. Of course the top's not done very good, but my wife had to lay down in the hole because she's the only person big enough to lay down in that little thing and paint upside down. So anyway, we got to finish the rest of this. See, we got it, made it to there and I made it to there. This is uh it's also the boat builder guy he got that far and i got this far so we are let's see if i can get some light back there yeah see 
that goes way back into there. All that. So, my wife is uh, been sanding over there. This is a fine detail sanding. Where you guys kind of getting the cracks and stuff where the little vibrating sander won't go. And as you can see, we're, we're vacuuming, but I don't know if you can see, see the white stuff shoot out there again. See the little white stuff go by? Well, that's because we took the filter out. And this just sucks it in through here and blows it right back, back out. We aren't filtering it and going to collect it. We're just blowing the dust out. You gonna use this? I'm done. Dust. Have you used this? Yeah, I already did. Okay, so you're done sanding, or is there more? Huh? Is there more? Everything sanded, all the details and stuff, yeah, all the corners and things. This one's rough here, honey. Well, I cannot get that out. What I'm gonna do with that end? Well, I don't know, but well, hopefully the paint. Hopefully the paint. Did you vacuum mm -hmm. along these lines? Yeah, I did. Okay. Mm -hmm. Need okay. to blow, blow it. Well, blow it then, honey. Get the blower. Yeah, we're gonna have to blow it out now. After we vacuum, we blow it out because that gets all the yeah. stuff out of the holes and, and things. Oh my goodness, what? Where's that? Here. You're saying. You know, you're saying your blocks are on, on the back there. Oh, the electric. I I unplugged you. You're, yeah, we're gonna have to plug it again, honey, because we, we're unplugged. Okay, so she found another spot or two that she's gonna hit with that uh, electric sander, and then we are gonna. Uh, I think he's mixed the. I don't know if he's mixed the epoxy up or not. But we will look over here. It looks like he did. Yeah, yeah, he mixed up a batch. So we're ready to go. So I got to get out of the cameraman mode and get into epoxy painter mode and we'll be back we got some wind blowing in uh, you can see the trees swaying but certainly the tarpaulins are they're like under the big top <laughs> people know what a circus i mean circuses aren't uh, <laughs> nobody knows what those are now nowadays the big top but that would be the big top so anyway we're gonna hit it again with the uh, epoxy uh, paint, last coat epoxy paint, and then after that, we got to uh, epoxy the outside uh, with two regular coats of epoxy with the thinner, and then one epoxy coat with the white paint. And then after that, we do some sanding, and then we start painting it uh, with regular paint. Actually, enamel, quick dry enamel. So we are going to get on it. Finish painting this hole. It's 4:30. You know, I try to show you my watch sometimes in the time, but it never focuses. So anyway, back to work. They're sanding. I'm gonna go paint. Bye for now. All right, everybody. The pink boat. That's <laughs> what the pink inside is turning white. We got a little patch of pink over there. And some little strips of pink along the top, but slowly, slowly. Uh, maybe pretty quickly, I guess, turning white. So, uh, anyway, we're getting there. The pink, the pink princess is turning into the white mothership. It's a uh, metamorphosis, I guess you might say. I need to paint that uh, propeller shaft there, that top part's pink. So, no more pink boat. The white mothership is what she's going to be after this. So... Anyway, it would be nice when we get the outside done too. Of course, the outside of this one has paint, but those are really going to change the look of everything. It'll look more like one boat instead of three boats after that's all done. You got all the uh, cross beams painted on the outside there. And uh, once we get done with all of this stuff, the epoxying, we're going to have to really lay on some good coats of paint and then sand them really smooth you know the outside of this boat really was very smooth i'm surprised how smooth it was 
the inside wasn't that smooth but like I said these are fishing boats uh, intended intended to be fishing boats and there's one or two guys go out in it and they're not family boats and they're not they don't take their kids out in them and stuff like that they're, they're for fishing and uh are for racing if you get you know like you know the three cut lower sides and all that stuff well that's just a racing boat that nobody cares if uh there's a sharp edge here or here and uh there's a little loose splinter over there nobody cares uh so hey our magic elixir is mixed and i gotta go back to getting my work done so we will be back with more like that we just got the center part to do a little bit on the insides here here and here a little bit here and then we'll be done with this uh with the inside part and we'll be back with more from my paradise on italian island yeehaw bye for now everybody check it out we got uh this hole epoxied with a white paint mixture any of those leaves there on the back those leaves yeah. okay so we got some leaves stuck in there we've got uh, this hole done you can even look down in there and it's pretty good There's a little bit of pink because it's hard to get that but also the top we need to get some of the top there but we'll finish that with paint and uh, but with the second coat we did in this boat, we put a lot of paint in with the epoxy mixture. You can see this one here, you can still see some of the wood grain through there. Some, see? But this one here is really, well, you can still see some, but not as much. So anyway, we got a lot of uh, paint here. Hopefully we don't get a storm brewing. But we uh, got this one this one and the inside back of this one which is the most difficult part my wife has to get this because she's small enough to reach back in there and get all that stuff and I'll kind of get a shot of that and see if she got it all or not if there's any spots we missed uh, she did pretty good pretty good pretty good that's a long reach back there and there's a little hole at the back and but we need to get this one really good because water our drain is right here over here on this side see right, right here in this little hole right here that's our drain so our drain drains back to here it doesn't drain up on this two by four it's going back so there's no drain back there so if water gets back there and the back of the boat is down water stays there we don't want that we want that to be a waterproof area so anyway all this is pretty much sanded so we're gonna paint it this is the one with all the foamy stuff here it was kind of well still kind of a mess but we're gonna try to, we're gonna paint it see how much paint will fill in all the foamy holes and then whatever work we need to do after the paint fills the foamy holes that's when we'll sand it smooth and that'll probably be less work for us so anyway, as usual, shot back, blowing all the sanding dust out of there, vacuuming, and blowing. So we have one, two, and a fifth. We'll say 20% of this one done. And uh, with the gleaming white, this looks a lot better. I mean, the pink kind of grew on me, but... Uh, not that much <laughs> it, but uh, the white uh, kind of brightens it up inside so anyway it looks new it looks more like a new boat than it didn't like a like a not new boat so anyway and it is a new boat he, the, he built this boat it was in the water one time before me just as a test to see uh, how it would uh, that it floated and all that kind of stuff of course it floats uh, and then uh, I was the next person to ride in it, do the test drive. He had just finished building it and uh, putting the engine in and all that stuff. So uh, we got all that done uh, and test drove it uh, once or twice. Well, no, uh, we drove it with uh, Celso controlling the uh, throttle 
and then the next well driving it driving it and I just sat on there and rode it and then the next time I drove it and found out this driving characteristics that the hood to there was way too small and not even in the water water but maybe halfway or something because see how high it is up here the water's down there so when you're at speed any speed this thing just rises up on plane and the top of this uh plywood here that sticks out the side it's 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 above the walls through the walls it's just gliding on a the plane and so this rudder wasn't even in the water but maybe halfway or a third of the way in and I couldn't turn into a wave if if the current's coming from the right if the ocean current was coming from the right I it was really hard to turn into it I could turn left just fine but I couldn't turn right so that's one of the other things I got to get replaced it's it's only about a 20 something inch length shaft from there to here and I need about a 30 something inch shaft uh, to get it down where it's supposed to be and an 8 by 10 inch thing that's about a four and a half by 8 inch so it's half half the size that it should be and not even in the water where it should be so uh, and this is the only rudder it's going to have but initially I mean I don't think I need to put another one on there but we'll see because we got three holes here that we've got to turn uh, I've got the uh, shines on these so hopefully that's going to benefit uh turning but we'll see everything we'll see <laughs> that's that's the answer we'll see so we will be back with more we're going to finish uh today's friday so tomorrow we can come back and uh, finish doing that hole and these will be dry and maybe we can go back to sanding again. <laughs> There's a lot of sanding, man. It seems to never end. And to get into these little corners up here and stuff like that, it's really just a bear to get in there and get sandpaper in your finger and, you, you know, with your fingertip. It's just, man, that's a lot of, you know, sanding. So, uh, I don't know what to do other than just sand until it's done. But, anyway we will be back with more i could have painted this one white too if i wanted to you see how shiny this one turned out up here this look, looks really nice really really glossy well yeah. glassy see that you can see the reflection now some but uh it's got to dry and i didn't put an even coat on there and nothing because again they, they, these are just epoxy coats here see so uh they're not the finished uh, coat where you would see the glistening and the shining and all that stuff and we got to prop up some t our cocoa wood little two by two by tens uh, prop them up here and here so they don't sit on that and so that the tarpaulin we put in doesn't touch any of the wet paint and it shouldn't be too bad because uh, the wet paint's on the inside right now and we we're wrapping up for the day. It is now 5:30. Again, I can never focus on my watch. I don't know why, but anyway, 5:30. So we'll be back with more. Check it out. The pink is almost gone. See, there's a little bit here along the side stripe. There, that's it. And we'll be back with more for my paradise on the Italian island. <laughs>